Hey, what's happening, everybody? Welcome to the first episode of a series of grading. <laughs> We're going to be covering a bunch of grading in the series, guys. We're going to be talking about the pants, the skirt, the one piece, two piece sleeve, and hopefully, we'll be covering the dress block. So there's a bunch of things you need to understand and keep in mind when it comes to grading. There's a bunch of fixed uh, measurements and fixed stuff that you need to really pay attention to before you even start grading, yeah? And then everything else becomes some sort of understandable, yeah? So you need to really pay attention to those fixed measurements that I'll be sharing with you guys shortly um, when it comes to grading. Um, you see I have two panels on the table right here But when it comes to grading because you're only going to grade one The formula that you're going to be using on the one panel also applies to the back panel And I have the front over here and then I have my back panel over here And both of them together makes up a pants, right? But the formula that I'm going to be using on one can I apply also to the other panel So for the sake of time we're not going to be talking about both panels on the video. We will just be constructing or grading one panel so that you guys at home can use the same formula to grade the other panel, right? And both of them have dots as well. So I'll be covering the dots in the video so that you can apply that formula also to the other panel. Cool. So we're going to be removing the back panel right about now so that we can just have one panel to focus on for now and as you can see i have a bunch of lines on here as well so i'm using a half scale block and this is going to be my basic block and i've made my basic block on a piece of cardboard so it's easier for me to copy around the edges when it's time to grade and move the block so that i can retrace those lines right so make sure guys your block is on a harder paper or board so that it's easy for you to copy those lines yeah and of course you can get these lines as well because that those lines is going to be important for you to add the notches on the graded patterns so make sure that you do know where your hip line is that's my first line my crotch line is my second line and then of course i have my knee line um, so that you can add those notches so for the purpose of the grading i have my ruler over here of my pencils i also have a bunch of coloring pencils so that when i do the grading i can then highlight the sizes in different colors because then it's easy for me to copy it after i've done my grading i can slap some paper underneath i can copy particular color in a particular size so let's say my large size is going to be in blue and then i'll only use the blue to construct the larger size let's say my extra large is going to be in red and then i'm only going to construct my extra large size in red and so on and so forth so it makes your life a little bit easier when you use colors guys so that when you after you've copied or graded your block in your preferred sizes you can now start tracing these sizes out of your pattern paper onto new pattern paper right so that is why i'm going to be using colors for the grading and of course you can make use of your uh, french curve and your magnetized ruler and all of that to work around these corners and curves like your hip line or your crotch line your center front your inside leg seam all of those curve lines you can make use of your french curve alternatively you can make use of some gadgets i'm going to be using a bunch of gadgets you can see i can trace around the curve area i can you know it fits nice in with the crotch line over there if i need to so you can also make use of some gadget that you have in and around your home so i can even use that curve line over there so you know try and make use of some some stuff that you have around your place also because we are working on this shape right that is essentially what we want at the end so why don't you just use your block as a guide because once you have your dots connected you can just move your block up and then copy the line back where you need it to be because at the end we want this shape right so make use of your your basic block so try and make use uh, make use of harder board so that you can 
I have an easier edge to trace, right? That's crazy amount of stuff. Anyway, guys. So, what we want to do first, we want to actually now trace our block. Uh, once we have all the nitty gritty rules and regulations out of the way, and now we're going to start copying this block onto our paper. So, I'm going to be placing my block onto the paper. And now I'm just going to trace with a pencil. And we're going to trace from the side seam over there all the way to the M line. inside leg seam and then the center front and crotch line and then we're going to trace the waistline over here and then the notches of the dot is important and then the point of the dot the top the notch the waistline and then the hip line and then remember guys your dot have a point over here so you want to copy that point as well there we go and then also because i have those lines like i mentioned earlier you actually want to highlight those lines so we're going to make a line a mark on both sides so that we know where to copy that line or the notches this is the crotch line and then we have our knee line over here which is which is there and then we have also our grain line because remember you need that grain line we copy the grain line, we know that the grain line falls in line with the dot, so we only can copy the bottom so that we can draw the line straight. There we go, and we move our block, and there we have our traced block, right? We grab our ruler, we're just going to copy the grain line in real quick. There we go. And then we will just connect it all the way to the dot if needed afterwards of course there we go and then we copy the dot if you if you want to you don't need to but it will become more apparent later when we start talking about the dot so let's just copy it for now there we go so there we have our size medium traced yeah so now we want to work towards a bigger size we know that size medium so we're going to write it m we want to go to large and extra large and then small or extra small right so now that we have our block trace there's a bunch of rules like i said earlier that you need to keep in account um, we know and you know and i know that when you are creating a pants there's two panels for the back and two panels for the front and when you sew them together it makes up a pants right so which means you are sitting with four seam lines you have the si two side seams and then you have the two inside leg seams yeah so when you sew them together it becomes a pants right and those side seams and inside leg seams are sewn together by a seam allowance and most often cases seam allowance for pants is one centimeter right so when you add them all together it makes up four centimeters right you have two side seams and two inside leg seams becomes four c centimeters per uh, in total but when you're talking about grading because you're only working with one panel we only need four centimeters divided by four gives you one centimeter right because now that you've given one leg one centimeter you now have to divide that one centimeter in a half so which means each of these seams needs to get five millimeter and that is the basic that is the fixed measurement of grading a pants or at least for most garments anyway so for the pants we need only five millimeters all around that is going to be our fixed measurement for our pants Whatever your seam allowance is going to be in the future, whatever you are constructing, um, you might say, hey, but um, what if I had two centimeters of seam? Or what if I had three centimeters of seam? Whatever your seam allowance is, guys, you need to take that value, uh, multiply it by four, because you have four legs, um, four panels that makes up a pants, 
and then you divide that by the same amount of so four, okay, of course. So after you've decided on your preferred seam allowance and size, now we're gonna go about grading this thing, man. So let's put the back away, and we're going to just now highlight these lines that we've done. We have our knee line, crotch line, and our hip line over there, and we also have highlighted our dot. And we're working on a medium. Cool. So we're going to just now, based on our fixed measurement, we're going to write it down on our piece of paper so that we know where to sort of put that measurement, yeah? So we said we're going to use 5 millimeter in our block to keep the standard measurement. You can go ahead and explore with that um, whenever it comes to um, you deciding on what is your preferred size you're working on or your preferred measurement yeah but for the standard size we're gonna stick to five millimeter so we're gonna say right up top because we're gonna make it bigger the block bigger we're gonna go up five millimeter so we're gonna write five millimeter there and we're gonna go out five millimeter so we're gonna write five millimeter here as well on the front and on the side seam five millimeter and then I'm saying five meters let me just put another M over there and the only thing that's going to have an added measurement is going to be the crotch area. Because if you're thinking about making a pants for a, a male, right? The male's pants or the graded part for the male, it gets an additional amount over here on the crotch line. We're going to add a 2 millimeter extra on top of the 5 millimeter that we're going to be added all around the block. The only part that gets extra is going to be the crotch line. So we're going to extend that line a little bit. So we're just going to make that line a little bit longer. So that we can work out those values as we go on that line. Yeah. And so we're going to say 2 millimeter plus the 5 millimeter for this area. Cool. And now on the legs the inside and the side seam also gets five millimeter so we're going to put five millimeter down here and the only thing that gets two millimeter is going to be the ankle measurement over here because remember that's where your foot needs to go through and a human's foot don't really increase that much yeah so we're just going to increase the bigger size by two millimeter extra on the anchor line so we're gonna write two millimeter over here so that we know that we need to just increase by two what you can do is you can also extend this line over here so it's easy for you to build that line the two millimeter line just a little line across there there we go so now that we have our measurement in place we have our guides in place we can now sort of grade and we said we're gonna go large with our blue so let's start doing this thing flatten my block real quick put this ruler here to keep them down there we go so we're gonna use this ruler and we're just going to add five millimeters on the top we're gonna say five over here oh hey this pen this color pencil might be but too light for the video so i'll use the black pen right i don't have any sharpies sharpies gonna bleed through the paper so we're just gonna use the black pen for everything there we go five millimeter and also five millimeter on the dot there we go and then five millimeter here as well five millimeter on the side seam crotch here of course let's just do the crotch line first we'll do the half first and then here we said two millimeters plus five millimeters is seven millimeters of course so we're gonna give them seven so five plus two there's our seven 
and then here down the inside leg, leg seam also five millimeter and then the knee line also five millimeter and then of course we set the the ankle or the hemline over here gets two millimeter there we go that's the two there so now we just need to connect these points man so you can go ahead with your french curve of your or your little gadgets and you can connect these points but the best way to go about it is to use your block because you have the shape already you just need to move them according to the dots so that's what we're going to do now we're going to do the the crotch line or the center front first so i'm moving it all along touching the dots on the waistline and the center front there we go mm -hmm. so now i'm using my pen i'm just going to connect all here because the curve line is a little bit different i'll show you guys just now it's a little bit different on the curve line we also want to connect the dot the nips the top of the dot the nip and then also the dot point remember once we have it there now we just want to shift it down a little bit so that we can touch the other point that we made also the five millimeter point we're not going to copy the the curve line just yet and now because it's a little bit off we need to kind of just bend it like that yeah you see what i'm doing sort of pivoting the the base pattern so that we can get the curve and there we go and that's how you're gonna get maneuver around that area so now we're gonna go to the inside leg seam connecting those dots we're going to connect from the crotch area towards the knee line first there we go and because we know that this is two millimeter is different from five millimeter so there's a little bit of a shifting that needs to happen right slightly not too much there we go and that's about it guys you see it's that easy man because we are making use of the actual block to guide us to trace around it makes it so much easier dude as where if you had to use your french curve and it's just messy so now that we still have the dot there we still now have to copy the dot line again so we're gonna grab our pen go to the dot point because we made the dot point over there and then we're just going to connect to the dot nips. So we're basically transferring the dot, yeah? And there we go. Hopefully you guys can see on the video. Yeah, it looks cool. Mm -hmm. And now that we have that done, we're going to do the same thing on the side seam, yeah? But I'm going to pause the video just to take a time and speed it up real quick. So there we go guys i've completed the side seam as well connected my five millimeter points on the side seam and then i connected all of those five millimeter points towards the two millimeter point and that's where we go man that is our size large now so now we're going to do the size extra large um real quick we're going to follow the same principle so we're going to grab our ruler so remember we're still going bigger sizes so we're going to go another five millimeter upwards right grab a ruler and now we're gonna connect we're gonna make some more five millimeters and we might just erase this real quick here we go five millimeter up five millimeter out up and out same principle apply to what we've done with the first step now we're gonna do the large, extra large step Pause the video and then run through it and I'll show you guys how it looks, yeah? Alright everybody, now that I've done my dots, I've went 5mm out, 5mm up, 7mm out on the crotch line, as you guys know. 
and two millimeters on the ankle so now I'm gonna grab my block again and just connect those points to speed up the video on that part guys um, again with a dot as well we need to copy the dot in so we connect these points again starting from the center front all the way up to the waistline across copy your dot nips there we go copy your dot nips waistline and then down to the crotch line go now we're slightly going to twist it like that so we can connect to that point over there there we go and now from that point we're just going to connect the inside leg seam so you see the formula stays the same guys nothing really changes once you have that fixed measurement you can go crazy really everything sort of just stays the same and it f just click in man and you're just connecting these points that's basically it and really make sure that you have your standard block on a harder board so it's easy for you guys to trace along and it makes your lives, e lives easier when you're copying these nude points there we go that's inside leg seam the crotch area the waistline and now we do the side seam And there we go guys so that is our block man now we just have to copy the dot over real quick the dot point there we go copy these lines over to the dot and there we go and that is our medium our large and extra large so whenever you are going beyond extra large right the measurement slightly changes because we had made use of five millimeters all around and uh, now because we're dealing with a bigger much bigger size we can increase that five millimeter even to one centimeter or to 1.5 even depending on the customer or you know your your market that you are trying to reach you can move that fixed amount up to whatever you prefer right but standard that is what we're going to deal with we're dealing with five millimeters all around except for the crotch area it gets an extra two millimeter whenever you are doing a pants for a male customer but if you're going female you can just use the five millimeter all around by the crotch area um, as well so you don't need to increase by two millimeter if you are doing for female right so there we go guys whenever we're doing a smaller size now of course we can just decrease the size so we're going to go inside of our basic block which is the pencil we can just go lower now five millimeter lower um, let me just do that real quick i will draw the lines and then i'll connect the lines i'll show you guys how it will look i'll do it in a different color pencil yeah all right everybody so i've done all the dots that i need um, like i said we have decreased now by five millimeter so our base pattern is the pencil line and we've dropped by five millimeter we went inwards by five millimeter all around and here again we the same principle applies we've um, decreased by seven millimeters five plus two remember and then over here we also did two millimeters on the 
ankle line because we want to keep the old uh, same base measurement going here. So now all that we need to do is just grab our base block. Because we are making a smaller size, we can't use the whole block in tracer because it's going to be shifted. So we're first going to copy one side and then move the block over and copy the other side, right? So we're going to start off with the waistline and center front. Connect these points first. And I'm using a red color. Hopefully it's clear on the video. We're going to go all the way to the crotch line. Once we get here, we shift it a little bit. Like that. There we go. And we're going to do the dot real quick. There we go. So whenever you're doing the dot, you actually want to line it up to this point here. The side seam over here before you even construct the dot because the dot might move a little bit more than you actually think there we go and now we can get the dot nips the dot point and now we can continue so we're going to continue the side here this inside leg seam connecting those points over there Connecting it with a line. There we go. And now we're going to connect the bottom, the two millimeter. Once that's done, now we're going to do the side seam here. Yeah? Now the two millimeter. And then of course, finishing off the dot real quick. Grab our ruler, connecting it straight to the dot point. And there we go that's our graded set guys we have a small medium large extra large all trapped into one body so now we just have to slap some paper underneath grab our tracing wheel and start tracing these patterns out of this block and that's all that it requires man once you stick to the basic principle guys to use the five millimeter as a standard measurement all around in increasing here by two millimeters on the crotch line and the ankle line otherwise everything stays the same yeah so whenever you are going bigger than extra large you now have to increase the fixed measurement which was five millimeter you can push it up to one centimeter or 1.5 centimeters and that's all that it is um, to get these blocks man so there we go there we have a few sizes and this is the first video, the first episode, guys, in the series of grading. We will continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, guys. This is Sano. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.